The current mayor of Lompoc is seeking re-election to a third term this November, while a former city council member is looking to take her seat. KSBY News reporter Jacob Dizon spoke with both candidates today to learn more about their platforms. Lompoc Mayor Janelle Osborne has held the position since 2018. She says if re-elected, her new term would be focused on continuing improvements to public safety, addressing local infrastructure issues, and listening to the needs of the community. Her competitor, former city council member and local business owner Jim Mosby, tells me he has taken notice to many prevalent issues around Lompoc and says his leadership will bring needed change to the city. There's a long list, uh, but things just aren't going right. Um, the safety of the public is a priority. And when we have over 35 murders, deaths, suicides and such uh, last year, uh, between the fentanyl that's going on and, and the gang violence and such, it's just not acceptable for a town our size. Osborne says her leadership this past term has already made progress in addressing these issues. Our police department, I believe, in September issued a public statement saying how crime has been able to reduce. They've been able to restore their special investigative unit team. We have gotten a grant and added a second canine team. If elected, Mosby says he'll bring body cameras to the police department and increase staffing. He says his experience with city finances makes him best qualified to tackle the city's needs. I did six years on the Lompoc City Council in understanding some very tough budgets and getting through the, the, the tough times when there wasn't a surplus of money and having to do, um, you know, sharpen the pencil to make the budgets work. Osborne points to her recent accomplishments in expanding access across local parks. The past two years, we've been able to get several grants through the Prop 68 process. So we've made improvements to Beatty Park and have the county's first all-inclusive playground that also ha not only allows those with mobility issues to utilize the playground, but has a full workout area. With election day less than a month away, both candidates filled me in on the support they have received through Throughout their respective campaigns. There isn't a talk of hope anymore. I campaigned a lot of, you know, we have the hope, we have the potential, and now we're talking realization. We're seeing the results, and the momentum that we've picked up is something I want to continue. I do have a tremendous amount of support that's out there at all levels. Uh, I spent a lot of time in the community working with um, the agencies to, to get a grasp on the issue known as homelessness that we have around here. Uh, we've solved a number of problems, worked with a number of the groups and agencies, and I have solutions for these. The Lompoc mayoral term runs for two years and people living in Lompoc can already start casting ballots for the upcoming election. Jacob Dizon, KSBY News. Election day is Tuesday, November 8th. If you'd like to read more about the midterm elections and local candidates, you can scan this QR code with your phone it will take you to all of our election coverage on our website.